in this morning's New Zealand Herald headlines. Pressure mounts on Gora's Gutterman as third shoplifting allegation emerges. Schools radical $40,000 gamble to fix attendance. And why public transport prices in Auckland are getting hiked. Atamaria, I'm Shuri Kinnear. It's Tuesday, the 16th of January. Green Party MP Golriz Gardaman is back in the country and set to face the music on shoplifting allegations. Allegations surfaced last week involving Scotty's boutique in Auckland while Gardaman was overseas on a personal trip. She's now being linked to a third alleged incident of shoplifting, which emerged last night, according to a staff report. Wellington-based Creative Works reported an October incident when they believe Gutterman was on the premises. The Green Party hasn't commented on the latest accusation, saying it's a matter for police. A Rotorua school that took a $40,000 swing and provided all students free uniforms and stationery says it has paid off in attendance. Kaitao Intermediate School students each receive one formal uniform, one sports uniform and all stationery. School principal Phil Palfrey says it resulted in an increase in students starting school during the first three weeks of the term. Some children traditionally um, in many schools I've been in, they, they sometimes really can't start their learning until week two, three or four um, until the parents can come up with the money. Well now that that is completely gone. Calls for the government to address and have a clear stance on important Israel-Hamas issues. The Federation of Islamic Associations wants clarification from government organisations on the applicability of existing legislation and our obligations under international treaties. It's calling for them to be clear on issues such as banning visas for extremist Israeli settlers, just as the USA and the UK have done. Aucklanders taking public transport will be forking out up to 40 cents more each ride from next month. Bus, train and ferry fares will rise 6.2% on average from February 4th. Auckland Transport's Stacey van der Putten says the fare increase is part of their yearly standard process to cover their costs. Fares only cover a marginal cost when it comes to the entirety of public transport, so we do need to make sure that we realign fares so that you know, a portion is paid by our customers for the service. And Auckland Zoo has welcomed its newest member with the birth of a giraffe calf. The yet-to-be-named female calf, which arrived on Saturday evening, stands six feet tall and weighs approximately 60 kilograms. It took just two hours after mum Karaka's water broke to deliver her fifth offspring. That came after a 15-month pregnancy, during which time Karaka put on an extra 100 kilograms. And those are the latest New Zealand Herald headlines. For more news worth knowing, head to nzherald.co.nz. Kia pai te ra. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. To stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald, click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here. And head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.